All right, this is the first video in a series of videos refuting common objections and counter arguments to the biblical doctrine of repentance. And the first, and these are common arguments you'll hear from the antinomian, no repentance, easy believism, false teachers. You'll often use these arguments, and I was deceived by easy believism for almost three years. And I know a lot of their arguments because I used to make those arguments myself. And the first common argument, or one of the many common arguments you'll hear, is uh, they'll say that, well, Judas, he repented, so is he saved? Because Judas went to hell, obviously. Okay? So let's read about Judas' so-called repentance. Because I like to use that as an example of someone who repented, but still went to hell. Okay? But let's see what kind of repentance Judas actually had. And this is how you refute their argument of trying to use Judas's repentance and then him going to hell uh, as proof that repentance is not part of salvation. So Matthew chapter, the King James Bible, Matthew chapter 27, beginning at verse 3. And that's uh, where it says, Then Judas, which betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned and that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, What is that to us? See thou do that. Uh, and he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. Okay. Notice something in verse 3. He repented himself. Okay. He had repentance, absolutely, but it wasn't godly sorrow that worked with repentance to salvation. You see, Judas had a sorrow. He had a sorrow that was working in repentance, but was it godly sorrow? No, it wasn't. Okay. It was a sorrow of the world. That's why he hung himself. Okay. What does the Bible say about the sorrow of the world? 2 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 10. Turn there. Your King James Bible, not your modern Vatican versions. Because the Vatican versions, like the, the modern versions, like the NIV, ESV, are all satanic and twist the nature of God, twist the biblical gospel, and deny key doctrines of the faith. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse number 10. For godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation, not to be repented of. But the sorrow of the world worketh death. So Judas, he had a sorrow, okay? But it wasn't godly sorrow. It was a sorrow of the world. That's why he hung himself. That's why he killed himself. Because the sorrow of the world works death. The sorrow of the world killed him. It led him to kill himself, okay? If he had godly sorrow, like we read in, in verse 10, he would have repented and gotten saved. But he didn't. He had the sorrow of the world which was what led to him, what led to him killing himself because the sorrow of the world again works death. So I wanted to just refute that argument of, from the word of God that, oh, well, Judas, he had a repentance. He repented. So is he, he still saved because he clearly went to hell. Yeah. He had the sorrow of the world. He did not have godly sorrow. He repented of himself. Okay. He was only feeling sorry about himself. He wasn't having godly sorrow over his sins. He wasn't having godly sorrow working repentance to salvation because if he had godly sorrow, he wouldn't have went out and killed himself. Because again, the sorrow of the world works death. That's why he killed himself. So just wanted to refute that common argument of trying to use Judas' repentance as proof that repentance is not part of salvation. Uh, there will be more videos to come on this subject. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Thank you.